What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioWise 3 Raw TV. Raw TV, right? Let's we'll sniff you back. You want to talk to them today? Yeah, let's tell them. Tell them, like Jay Cutler would say, tell them. Right, Brady? All right. Yeah, motherfuckers, tell them. Okay, peace out, bye. Peace out, bye. Whose videos have you been watching, motherfucker? Go play. Anyways, so today I had... Uh, posted a thing on my Facebook about these electronic cigarettes, e-cigarettes or whatever, or vaporizers, vapors, whatever the fuck they are. It's become a big trend in America. It's a big thing. Maybe it's everywhere. I don't know. But here it's become like a popular thing. And um, I'll tell you what, I don't like this, the smell of cigarette smoke. I fucking hate it. it I despise the smell of it. it. It just fucking disgusts me to my core. I grew up with two parents, both heavy smokers. Uh, my brother and I have never, ever smoked and ever smoked ever. Never even tried a you know, cigarette or anything like that because of the fact that we grew up with it was so disgusting. Like my aunts and uncles, fucking, it was just I fucking hate it. So I post this 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 article up about a study. And it says these cigarettes have been found to be just as bad for your lungs as um, regular cigarettes. And right away, flawed study. Who did the study? Blah 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 blah. And I got to thinking. I was like, can anybody look at anything anymore? Any at ever ever nowadays? And not talk about how flawed it is because the wrong person paid for the fucking study. I got news for you. Some of you motherfuckers right now who are bitching and complaining are eating a food, taking a medication, using a product that was studied. And guess who funded the fucking study? The person who made that fucking product. Most of the studies out there that are done on whatever the fuck they are are people that are trying to study products and find out information about products that are coming to the market that they want to bring to the market. That's who funds them. People don't magically take a fucking shitload of money and dump it into a fucking study for some random fucking thing that they don't even know what it is or what it's about to find out whether or not it fucking works or not. The people funding the studies are the ones with the products, okay? Big pharma, fucking tobacco companies, all this bullshit. That's how it is. You don't even fucking realize how, how often... You're using a product that was funded by the company that fucking made the product to get some fucking information about it so they even know whether or not they should bring it to the market. There's studies done all the time by companies. All right, here's a perfect example. I was speaking with um, um, Stephen Adelaide from Isotory actually about this ping, about this this whole situation. And he said, yeah, he said, you know, we've studied, we've funded studies for BioGrow based on the fact that we want to find out, you know, other things about it. And what happens is when you you fund these studies, you guys act like like Isatory would pay the doctors to give them what they wanted and get the research they wanted so they get their product out. The doctors and the people doing the study don't even know what products are being given to the people. So what happens is Isatory says, let's say I want to fund a study. They go to the, the doctor and say, we would fund, want to fund the study. We get a placebo or we have the actual product. One group gets a placebo, one gets a product. The doctors don't know who got what. All they know is a bunch of fucking powder showed up that are in fucking containers and one's fucking watermelon and one's blue raspberry. They don't know which one has the fucking product or which one has the placebo. And they give one to fucking one group and the other one to the other group and they follow the fucking information. They pull the data and they fucking pull it together and that's how the study's done. The doctors don't even know which one of those fucking powders contained the product. Nor do the people doing the study. Nobody knows except for Isatori, who's not telling them so that they get the actual data back that's actual real data. Interesting, right? So you guys, you think that fucking they're being paid off. No, they're being paid to do the study, but even the doctors don't know what the fuck is going on until all the data comes back and my story says this is who actually got the product. That's when you fucking know, after the study is already done. Now, I also talked to Stephen about, you know, how he said flat out, he said they had actually come up with a product It was a fat loss product. Fat, I don't know if it was a fat burner, it was a fat loss product. And he said basically they took all these different ingredients that were based on data that they had and said, this one does this, this one does that, this one. They formulated a product. They got the flavoring down, whatever the case may be, or capsulated, whatever it was. And they took it and they put it into a fucking study. And what they got back was results that were less than favorable. They said, you know what? It's not even worth the money that, you know, did it, people burn more fat? Well, like 1% more fat over the course of like eight months or something. Like it wasn't enough to say that we can sell this for this amount of money to, to get this much results. The product never came to market. They shut it down before it ever hit market. So that's the shit that you don't hear about. The shit that you don't hear about is the products that are studied that don't work, that the companies decide not to put out because it makes the company look bad. They're going to lose money, get sued, whatever the case may be. 
Like, that's what you're not understanding. It goes both ways. So all you see is, and I think that a lot of it has to do with, like, online. I think a lot of it has to do with the internet and people talking about shit that they don't really know or understand or have facts about. And all of a sudden it becomes fact. They're like, oh, well, Big Pharma did a study on that drug to find out whether or not it fucking was good or not. And then they put it on the fucking market, blah, 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 blah. Well, did you also know that the same fucking company that did the study put it on the market, okay? Is the same company later on to recall it and pull it off the market when something happens? Okay, they did the study for a certain period of time. They got the results. But what happens over an extended period of time when they find out more things about the product, if it's not good, like uh, I think there was one, um, it was a... Uh, I started with a V and it was for like inflammation I took from my shoulder. And I remember my doctor prescribing it for me like fucking 10 years later. I see that it, it causes heart valve problems. They pulled it off. Vioxx was the name of it. They pulled it off the market. Who do you think pulled it off the market? It's not like the company that put it out and another company fucking pulled it off the market. The company that put it out, when they find out what happens, pulls it off the market. So you see, there's nothing that you can really do in like a 12-week study that's going to let you know what happens in a 25 years of being on a product or taking a fucking drug or whatever the case may be. So they're going to find out short term, basically what these products do and then decide whether or not to bring them to market. But who the fuck do you think is going to fund these studies? You think some millionaire sitting in a fucking mansion somewhere is like gets up in the morning and goes, I think what we'll do is we'll find 50 products in the world and we're going to throw $30 million into them so we can find out whether or not these are just for the good of humanity. No, it's not like that. It is a business decision. It's a business thing. But these companies... They cannot have a business, a repeat business, if they have a product that doesn't fucking work or if they don't know whether the product works or not. So be aware, these double-blinded, placebo, blah, 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 whatever the fuck these studies are, are not these ways to persuade the evidence to be what they want. Sometimes it comes out, it's not what the company wants. And they're upset and they've wasted a bunch of money formulating shit and fucking putting it together and they never bring it to market, but you just never hear about it. But now... You've heard about it. Biowestertraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowestertraining.com is a blog. It's the study of this bicep, bitch, and we're out.